<laughs> yeah, Danielle for president. I feel like, do you not think though, I mean, I'm not being funny, right? Okay, but there's three main issues. The first issue is obviously the housing. That's easy enough. There's loads of land. Like you don't need to be rocket science. The second issue is the unpapered immigrants coming in. I'm not talking about the women and children coming from war zones who are genuine refugees. I'm talking about the career criminals who are using Ireland to come in. It's turned very gangster, to be honest with you. And you need someone with an iron fist. Also, why are all the members of Joel Aaron having these boozy lunches? The Minister for Health looks like they're about to drop dead. Like, seriously, fuck that. That all needs to go immediately. There needs to be zero tolerance. Obviously, there'd be no brown envelopes on my watch. I would run a tight ship. I would be a handful, to be honest with you. But also, we would bring the glam. Yes, we ha oh, we have to. The only condition I'd have is we have to upgrade the Irish presidential jet. Do you know, curiously enough, the, here's, here's a little bit of tea. The Mexican... The Mexican government bought an A320 Airbus that they don't actually want to use, so they're raffling it off. So I'm going to let you in on a little bit of tea. Bought us a couple of tickets, Ireland. You're welcome. You're welcome. So we might yet win the Airbus A320 that the Mexican government invested in that don't want. Although that's a lot to run, to be honest with you. The current private jet for the president is about 25 million years old. And 